Hey guys, it's Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, coronavirus is still upon us, so Tyler, the camera guy, and I are staying away from each other. But what we've chosen to do is recycle some of our most favorite Steam Culture episodes. Today, we're recycling the jelly bean episode, one of my favorites, because one, I love jelly beans. Two, you get a little candy history. Three, you get to hear how steam plays a role in jelly beans. And three, there is a monster dad joke at the end my favorite kind of joke. So thanks for joining me. Come back next Friday. We'll have another episode for you. And until then, stay healthy. I'll see you. Hey, welcome to Steam Culture. We're going to talk about one of everyone's favorite candies, the jelly bean. Now, I can't tell you who invented the jelly bean, but I did find that it's been traced back to biblical times because the center of the jelly bean resembles Turkish delight. So, Again, we don't know who invented the jelly bean, but we do not know how long the jelly has been around. Nah, I'm gonna move on. So here's how the jelly bean is made using steam. A couple of different ways. First of all is how they actually make the concoction, which this is just one big, huge sugar bomb. So they're gonna mix liquid sugar and a bunch of other sugary things into a large batch, but they're gonna put it in a steam jacketed kettle. It's a big stainless steel tub that's double walled. So inside the wall, they pump high temperature steam in there. So they raise that sugar uh, concoction up to about 350 degrees and let it cook over to the side it goes. Over on these large beds, they're gonna pour starch. And then into the starch, they're gonna press uh, in and make these little itty bitty jelly bean molds. They're gonna pour the liquid sugar in there and they're gonna let it sit overnight in a warm, low humidity room. And apparently this is important because it's what gives the jelly bean that chewy center that we all love. So after they sit overnight, they're gonna shake them out of their starchy molds and then they're gonna send them through a steam bath. This is important because if you don't put it through the steam bath, it doesn't accept the sugar coating that it's about to get tumbled through. So they put all the sugar coating on there, they add some color and voila, you have various colors and flavors of jelly beans. So jelly beans made with steam, and now you know because you watch Steam Culture. So go out and Google all the different uh, flavors and sizes and shapes of jelly beans. But while you're out there, don't forget to look for content that we're gonna put out for you each and every week. In the meantime, I will be working hard for you to put together another Steam Culture next week. Sorry for my, I didn't get that through. I've eaten about 400 of these things so far. I'm gonna have a few more. I'll see you next week. Yeah.